Guns is my right. Guns here in the United States, if the kids are trained young enough and properly enough to use weapons, is a benefit. Problem is, they banned them from all kids. I was trained when I was seven, eight years old on guns. Now, they have to wait until they're 18. At 18, they've gotten into drugs and watch that stupid television, uh, internet, and all the violence on it. So when they get a gun now, what do they think they're gonna use the gun for? Violence. Conservative brain rot is a real thing, especially when it comes to the Second Amendment, and this video proves it. I don't believe guns are dangerous at all, as long as you have the proper training. I, I'm a Second Amendment supporter from the beginning as well. We hunt, fish, camp my whole life. I teach my son the same things. They're talking about possibly raising the age to legally own a gun. They're talking about background checks. And they're talking about getting rid of assault weapons. Would any restrictions uh, be OK with you to make other people more responsible because you're so responsible? Um, well, well, number one, when it comes to an assault, weapon. I guess I don't even know what that is. Um, um, I have an AR. I don't consider that an assault weapon. It, it's, I, we can take it out and shoot prairie dogs with it. We can shoot deer with it. This guy just said that his idea of fun is taking an assault rifle out and shooting prairie dogs with it. That's not even hunting. There'd be nothing left. Uh, we can protect ourselves at home with it. Actually, the assault weapon <laughs> is, isn't intended for hunting. I guess if you want to if you want to call it an assault weapon, it it's for home invaders. It's to protect yourself. I mean, everybody keeps saying you don't need an assault weapon to hunt or to shoot. It's fun to use them and do that with them, but that's not what they're intended for. They're intended for me to protect myself, my family. That's what they're for. Okay, so even by his own logic, he's being irresponsible with his gun because apparently these assault rifles are for self-defense and yet he's running around hunting prairie dogs with them. And by the way, they really aren't made for self-defense. Fundamentally, these are weapons of war. They're literally meant to blast through armor. The reason why people on the left focus so much on AR-15s in particular is because the damage done by the rifles is so extreme that it's incredibly difficult to recover from getting shot by one of them. There are plenty of weapons out there that are perfectly sufficient for any type of self-defense effort. Except for these right-wingers don't really care about self-defense. What they care about is their violent fantasies about killing people. Because of course they know that they're not John Rambo, they don't have the entire military or police after them, but they invent all these fantasy scenarios. You'll also see the same types of people always talk about what they would do during a zombie apocalypse and also what they would do during a civil war. And it's all rooted in a combination of this main character syndrome tied with a bunch of ridiculous right-wing paranoia where they think that they are the only person that exists in the world that actually matters and that everybody else is either out to get them or of no consequence. I mean quite literally this is how much Republicans have just been rotting their brains that so many of them do unironically think of themselves as some sort of Rambo character and then on top of that when you add in the layer of like racism and other forms of bigotry that exist at a baseline within the United States plus a little bit of conspiracy theories from Fox News and Newsmax and other right-wing media outlets and you can see all of these conservatives freaking out inventing these tall tales about how they definitely need their assault rifles they definitely need these AR-15s these incredibly deadly weapons for self-defense when in actuality we all should know and recognize that the reason these people are obsessed with guns they indulge themselves in these violent fantasies where they carry out acts of violence without consequence against the marginalized people that they don't like. And this is proven by the point that Tucker Carlson freaked out about the idea of trans people getting access to firearms just a couple of weeks ago. And so of course these conservatives don't want everybody to have a right to have a gun, they just want some specific people to have a right to have a gun. Because what they think weapons are is not something that's self-defense. That's just a pretense that they use to try and justify their rhetoric. Fundamentally, these right-wingers understand their weapons to be a tool of intimidation and terror. And so much like Republicans claims of how they wanna protect the children and using that to try and justify bans on trans people getting access to our healthcare or even just being in public, when right-wingers say they want guns, what they are really saying is that they wanna be able to use guns against the people that they don't like. Because just like it's not about protecting children for these conservatives when it comes to these anti-trans bills, it's also not about protecting themselves when it comes to their views on guns.